Dear Stefan Molyneux fans, I want to make this perfectly clear. Calling a liar a liar is not character assassination. It's not an ad hominem attack. It's a conclusion drawn from the facts. So, for instance, when Stefan's wife, one Christina Papadopoulos, advocated family shunning on Stefan Molyneux's free domain radio show, she got reprimanded for professional misconduct. Quite right, too, if she, like Stefan, was advocating that children should disown their parents because Stefan had convinced them that they'd committed a thought crime or that they should shun their families because they wouldn't subscribe to Stefan's very narrow ideas on anarcho-capitalism. And that those in your life, not in the news, those in your life who advocate and praise you getting shot what are you going to do with those people this but this practice of defooing um this is i mean it's pretty widely criticized right i mean your wife got in trouble for this for advocating this on your or in your show right no she didn't no didn't she get suspended and she nope. have no nope. none of that is true it's so that's just lies she it's um, online yeah none of it is true let me just say that again the College of Psychologists of Ontario deemed Christina Papadopoulos' behavior to be seen by members as disgraceful, dishonorable, or unprofessional. Stefan Molyneux fans, I want you to note that this is no vanilla white lie. It's a bold-faced lie that cuts to the very core of how dishonest Stefan is willing to be to defend these cult-like shunning behaviors. And not one of you Molyneux fans sat there and thought, oh, wow, he is really smooth and practiced at lying to people like this. I mean, your wife got in trouble for this, for advocating this on your, or in your show, right? No. She didn't? No. Didn't she get suspended? And she nope. have no. Nope. None of that is true. It's so that's just lies. She it's um, online. Yeah, none of it is true. No, calling Molyneux a liar is not character assassination. It's not an ad hominem attack. It's a conclusion. And yeah, it doesn't show that all of his arguments are wrong. Not that it's much more difficult to show that his arguments are bullshit than it is to show that he's dishonest. But then again, what would be the point of me doing that if you cannot accept when it's shown to you in black and white terms right in front of your face just how dishonest Stefan is willing to be and you still reject it? For me, though, it's important to establish the sort of person you're dealing with. This is why it was important to show how dishonest Anita Sarkeesian was willing to be. These were not vanilla white lies, but giant elaborate strategic lies told to manipulate people and promote an ideology. And yeah, if you're going to deal with such people, it's important to establish the sort of people you're dealing with, lest any innocent onlooker thinks that both parties are acting in good faith and should be simply taken at their word. So one last time for the hard of hearing. Calling Molyneux a liar is not character assassination. It's not an ad hominem attack. It's a conclusion based on the facts. Nor does the fact that he advocates that his followers shun their friends and family simply because they think that you should pay taxes while simultaneously <laughs> expecting his followers to give him money such that he can happily pay all of his taxes and obey all of the rules. I pay my taxes, I obey all the laws. Right. Exactly speak to how seriously he takes his philosophy. Because how can I have even a shred of self-esteem, a shred of pride in my own existence, if I'm willing to hang out with people who want me shot? Are we that sick? I pay my taxes, I obey all the laws. Right.